bringing on a guest in order to stream an interview is one of the best ways and simplest ways to create a really dynamic live stream and create an engaging piece of content uh, for your viewers. There's many reasons why you might want to bring on some guests to your show. Uh, and today we're going to talk about one of the simplest, easiest ways to actually help bring your guest onto your show, no matter what platform you're trying to uh, stream to. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Nick Kowalkowski and on this channel we talk all about live streaming and how you can grow your business using live stream and videography and I'm really excited because on today's episode we're going to be talking about an app um, that I've done a few different videos on which is the Melon live streaming app. Um, this Mel Melon app, app is made from the people at Streamlab and it's a really great product uh, and I really love it for live streaming. It's a simple easy way to get up and live streaming and to live stream to many different platforms but possibly one of my favorite things about it really is especially if you're looking to do interview type shows is that how simple and easy it makes it to to be able to do us bring on a guest do an interview with them whether that's somebody in your audience or a pre-planned guest uh, to really have that connection have that interview piece that interaction with them or even a co-host uh, to have a co-host for your show this way in just a simple way, uh, no matter what platform you wanna go out and stream to, no matter what kind of device you're using, or no matter uh, if you want to go to multiple different platforms, Melon's gonna allow you to do just that. And I wanna quickly walk you through the process of bringing on a guest within that app. So let's dive in. So here we are inside the behind the scenes of Melon. I have a whole nother video that really does a deep dive on the behind the scenes of Melon and the different features that it has. So go check that video out right here. Uh, but now let's jump in specifically to what we want to talk about today, which is bringing on a guest. So I'm going to go over here in the platform and you can see they have invite guest. If you go there, you're going to see right away, it's going to give you a little uh, icon there. So go tap that, copy the link. We're going to open up mail. I'm going to go ahead and paste that URL right there in the mail app. And we're going to send it just to myself again. And that's all you need to do. Uh, you're ready to send that, that email. So it could be an email, it could be a text message, it could be an Instagram DM, it could be a Facebook DM. It could be, you could send this, this link to your guests in many different ways, but it's going to uh, you know, make it super easy to get this information to them. And then let's go check out what that looks like. Let's send that email. And so here you can see on my iPad that link has come in. Let's tap that. And then you need to hit allow. And you can see, add in your name, and I'm just going to go and Volkowski. And then I get to choose microphone here. So if I had my, so if I had my AirPods in, I could choose that or any other Bluetooth microphone and be able to connect that. Um, and then you get to cho choose from front camera or you can do the back camera. If you want, you can switch it around to that. But let's stay with the front camera. Advanced settings, let's check out those. You can see what some of those are. Resolution, right now we're at the standard. We can switch to high. Um, we can do stereo audio, auto adjust mic, or echo cancellation. So pretty much the same set settings you're gonna have as the host, um, but then your guest would go ahead and click join. And now you can see I am not on uh, the guest page. You can see right here, um, I'm seeing what is going out to the stream right now. So like if, say, on the stream side, I added some extra extra space, extra padding around, it, that's going to change right there. Um, and you can see there's a little notification up there that you are not part of the broadcast yet. Uh, the host can see you and can add you at any point. So from the host side, you're going to notice right here, I see them along the list right here, neck, right below me in the on screen. So right now this is on screen. You can see there's a little button to show on screen. I can adjust their volume. I can go ahead and turn their video off, turn their video on. I can mute them. I can unmute them. And you're gonna notice on the guest side, they're gonna see the host has disabled video. The host ha has muted you. And then I can kick them off the broadcast if I wanna bring on another guest. Say you're doing some sort of call-in show. That's a great option for something like this. You can send in a little Facebook message to people and then bring them online and then kick them off whenever um, you're finished talking to them. So it's really cool. But let's go ahead and show on stream. So there you can see I am on stream twice now. Um, you can and in you can see here 
Again, you have several different options here as the guest. Let's talk about the guest first, what they see. There's the mute button. Um, you also have all the settings that we talked about before to adjust the audio. You have all the settings that we talked about before to adjust the video. There's a share button for those of you who, if you're coming in on a desktop, I don't believe, I don't think it works on on iPad right now or, or on a tablet or mobile, but you're gonna be able to do that on a desktop or a laptop, which is really cool. You can also bring in the chat. So this chat here, you're gonna see the stream chat, which is from all the different platforms you're going out to is gonna be aggregated there. So you're gonna be able to see the streams, the, the chats coming in from those different platforms, which is really great. Or there's also the private chat. So it's just between you and the host. So as, as, especially if you're on stream, let's say it has multiple guests and they need to, the host needs to send out some information like wrap up in two minutes or anything like that. You're gonna be able to see that here by clicking that little chat button. And then of course you have the leave broadcast button. Now, from the host side, what you're gonna see is you have the option to, of course, hide yourself. So you could just have the guest on stream or you could bring both of you up again. You also have the option to change the layout. So right here is we have one layout. This is another one where they have several different suggested layouts. Uh, this one's more for if you have three people. Um, we can have a little picture in picture and then you can actually drag the box around to kind of to flip um, that flip switch one drag to reorder. So that's kind of nice. And then you can double click the spotlight. So bring them on or double click to toggle the spot, toggle the spotlight. Uh, and then you have another opportunity to go right there. So really simple. That's what it's like to be a guest on a live stream here uh, with Melon. I really love it. It's a fast, simple way to get started. If you want to learn more about the Melon app, be sure to check out the playlist right here where I go into a couple different videos on Melon um, and some of the different features it has, including how you can go live from anywhere using your mobile phone, which I love that app, that option and that ability. Um, oh, but also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.